To us, Bridget is a champion. When I first met Bridget, uh, you know, we talked about, you know, the task force, we talked about the community, and it's like she fell in love with it. She's just, just been a, a true leader, trying to get people to, to buy in and understand the importance of this building. Bridget is one of my dearest friends. She epitomizes the ultimate in grace, generosity, and heart. All her life, Bridget has wanted babies. That's all she's wanted to do, and especially when she met Paul. Sadly, uh, that is not what God had in mind for Bridget. She's very clever, God is. So, she had something maybe more important for Bridge. My hopes for these kids in the Watts community is that this Children's Institute campus provides them a place to dream and to dream big and for this to be a foundation for them to become the next generation of leaders. Paul has no choice but to be an ambassador in working with this new Children's Institute site in Watts. Bridget wouldn't have it any other way. Paul is a very unusual real estate developer in my opinion. He has a real interest in the city and the community and almost any project he does, whether it's in Los Angeles or Seattle or New York, He's very concerned about the neighborhood and how that project will affect and perhaps change that neighborhood. Watts is a vital part of our overall community. And it's really Los Angeles now, Watts now, all of the neighborhoods in the city that make this truly a world-class city. And Watts plays a very vital, historic, legacy role in that. Children's Institute will forever be indebted to Bridget and Paul. Their work on this project has been nothing short of extraordinary. And when you walk in that building and you see the light and the space and the beauty of it, it will be a true reflection of who they are. Bridget and Paul Keller are truly angels in this city of angels. I consider them great friends. I consider them amazing Angelinos. And they're always asking, what can we do to give back to this city that they've given so much to already? The two of them never ask why. They ask why not and lifting them up and honoring them is really about honoring our city tonight.